everyone! I hope you've all been enjoying some of this beautiful summer weather that we've been having. Well, here I am at our York branch in East Barrie, and I've got some great stories picked out for you today. I know that there are a lot of troubling things happening in the world right now. And in response to that, I've chosen some great stories in support of the African American community and diversity in general. But before we read those stories, let's begin by waking up our hands and warming them up with a clap, 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 a clap, 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 a clap, clap, clap. I wake up my hands with a clap, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my feet with a stump, 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 a stump, 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 a stump, stump, stump. I wake up my feet with a stump, stump, stump. And I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my head with a nod, 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 a nod, 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 a nod, nod, nod. I wake up my head with a nod, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my eyes with a blink, 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 a blink, 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 a blink, blink, blink. I wake up my eyes with a blink, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. I wake up my hips with a shake, 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 a shake, 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 a shake, shake, shake. I wake up my hips with a shake, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. One more wiggle. I wake up my tummy with a poke, 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 a poke, 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 a poke, poke, poke. I wake up my tummy with a poke, 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 and I wiggle my waggles away. Let me see one more good wiggle from you guys. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Who's ready for a story? If you're ready for a story, can you tap your head? If you're ready for a story, can you rub your belly? If you're ready for a story, can you nod your head? I think everyone's ready for a story. All right, so first story today is called It's Okay to Be Different by Todd Parr. Everyone's different, and that's okay. That's more than okay. That's cool. It's Okay to be Different by Todd Parr. And this reading is by permission of Little Brown and Company. It's okay to be missing a tooth. Or two. Or three. It's okay to need some help. Oh, it looks like maybe she's blind. She needs some help from her dog. It's okay to have a different nose. It's okay to be a different color. It's okay to have no hair. It's okay to have big ears. It's okay to have wheels. Have you seen people with wheels before? Wheelchairs. It's okay to be small, medium, Large, extra large. People come in all shapes and sizes, don't they? It's okay to wear glasses. It's okay to talk about your feelings. In fact, it's important to talk about your feelings. It's okay to eat macaroni and cheese in the bathtub. Do you ever do that? 
it's okay to say no to bad things. That's an important one. It's okay to come from a different place. It's okay to be embarrassed. You can see the little toilet paper there on the bottom of her shoe. Everyone's embarrassed sometimes. It's okay to come in last. There's the finish line in the race. And there's the turtle. But everyone moves at their own pace. Some people are slow, some people are faster. It's okay to dance by yourself. I do that all the time. It's okay to have a pet worm. People have all different types of pets, don't they? It's okay to be proud of yourself. It's okay to have different moms. It's okay to have different dads. It's okay to have different kinds of families. It's okay to be adopted. It's okay to have an invisible friend. It's okay to do something nice for someone. It's okay to lose your mittens. It's okay to get mad. We all do sometimes. It's okay to do something nice for yourself. It's okay to help a squirrel collect nuts. It's okay to have different kinds of friends. It's okay to make a wish. It's okay to be different. You are special and important just because of being who you are. Love, Todd Parr. Isn't that a great story? Fantastic. Well, we have another really great story here. This is one of my, another one of my favorites. It's called Mixed Me by Tay Diggs, illustrated by Shane W. Evans. And this reading is by permission of Macmillan Publishing. Mixed Me. Hey now! They call me Mixed Up Mike. My hair is like, wow. Super crazy fresh cool, man. Yeah. I like to go fast. No one can stop me as the wind combs through my zigzag curly do. What's happening, Captain? My daddy says, hi, I say, bye, I say. Hey, sweet boy, sweet pie, honey boo, my mom coos. She's my one and only, never lonely. Hi, I say, bye, I say. Sometimes... When we're together, people stare at whatever.
your mom and dad don't match, they say, and scratch their heads. See, my dad's a deep brown, my mom's rich cream and honey. Then people see me, and they look at us funny. My mom and dad say I'm a blend of dark and light. We mixed you up perfectly and got you just right. There are so many flavors to savor and taste. Why pick only one color or face? Why pick one race? Some kids at school want me to choose who I cruise with. I'm down for fun with everyone. Why pick one race? I'm a combo plate. Garden salad, rice and beans tasting great. But wait. And if they care too much, about my hair too much, that it's not straight enough, I say it's my hair, don't touch. I'm doing my thing, so don't forget it. And if you don't get it, you don't get it. Uh-huh, I said it. I'm a beautiful blend of dark and light. I was mixed up perfectly, and I'm just right. They call me Mixed Up Mike, but that name should be fixed. I'm not mixed up. I just happen to be mixed. Mixed. Me. Isn't that great? Well, I think it's about time for a song, don't you? So this might be a song that you all know. Do you know The More We Get Together? Let's sing it. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For my friends are your friends, and your friends are my friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we sing together, 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 the more we sing together, the happier we'll be. The more we sing together, 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 the more we sing together, the happier we'll be. For my friends are your friends, and your friends are my friends. The more we sing together, the happier we'll be. And here's the library line. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job, you guys. Good singing. Fantastic. I think we might be ready for another story. What do you think? All right. So our next story is called Last Stop on Market Street. And this is by Matt De La Pena. Pictures by Christian Robinson. And this is with permission of Putnam and Sons. The last stop 
on Market Street. CJ pushed through the church doors, skipped down the steps. The outside air smelled like freedom, but it also smelled like rain, which freckled CJ's shirt and dripped down his nose. Can you see CJ? There he is. He ducked under his Nana's umbrella, saying, how come we gotta wait for the bus in all this wet? And trees get thirsty too, his Nana told him. Don't you see that big one drinking through a straw? CJ looked for a long time, but never saw a straw. There's a lot of looking and seeing in this book. Pay attention to every time we say those words. Look and see. From the bus stop, he watched water pool on flower petals, watched rain patter against the windshield of a nearby car. His friend Colby climbed in, gave CJ a wave, and drove off with his dad. Nana, how come we don't get a car? There's Colby. Nana, how come we don't got a car? Boy, what do we need a car for? We got a bus that breathes fire. And old Mr. Dennis, who always has a trick for you. The bus creaked to a stop in front of them. It sighed and sagged, and the door swung open. Can you see the dragon on the bus? A bus that breathes fire, she said. What's that I see? Mr. Dennis asked. He pulled a coin from behind CJ's ear, placed it in his palm. There's that quarter. Nana laughed her deep laugh, <laughs> and pushed CJ along. They sat right up front. The man across the way was tuning a guitar. An old woman with curlers had butterflies in a jar. Nana gave everyone a great big smile and a good afternoon. She made sure CJ did the same. Can you see the man with the guitar? And the butterflies in a jar? The bus lurched forward and stopped. Lurched forward and stopped. Nana hummed as she knit. How come we always got to go here after church, CJ said. Miguel and Colby never have to go nowhere. I feel sorry for those boys, she told him. They'll never get a chance to meet Bobo or the sunglass man. And I hear Trixie got herself a brand new hat. CJ stared out the window, feeling sorry for himself. He watched cars zip by on either side, watched a group of boys hop curbs on bikes. There's the butterfly lady sitting next to them. And hey, check out the guy with the tats. What do you think? Are there good things about CJ and Nana having to take the bus and having to travel to different places? Do you think that they meet people maybe on the bus that they wouldn't meet if they were driving in a car? A man climbed aboard with a spotted dog. CJ gave up his seat. How come that man can't see? Boy, what do you know about seeing? Nana told him. Some people watch the world with their ears. That's a fact. Their noses, too, the man said, sniffing at the air. That's a mighty fine perfume you're wearing today, ma'am. Nana squeezed the man's hand and laughed her deep laugh. Remember, we, we uh, 
saw a woman wearing glasses like that with a seeing eye dog in our first story. Two older boys got on next. CJ watched as they moved on by and stood in back. Sure wish I had one of those, he said. Nina sat down in her knitting. Can you see what CJ is looking at? Looks like maybe it's a phone or an iPod with some earbuds in the ear. They're listening to some music. Sure wish I had one of those, he said. Nina sat down her knitting. What for? You got the real live thing sitting across from you. Why don't you ask the man if he'll play us a song? CJ didn't have to. The guitar player was already plucking strings and beginning to sing. To feel the magic of music, the blind man whispered, I like to close my eyes. Nana closed hers too. So did CJ and the spotted dog. And in the darkness, the rhythm lifted CJ out of the bus, out of the busy city. He saw sunset colors swirling over crashing waves, saw a family of hawks slicing through the sky, saw the old woman's butterflies dancing free in the light of the moon. CJ's chest grew full, and he was lost in the sound, and the sound gave him the feeling of magic. The song ended, and CJ opened his eyes. Everyone on the bus clapped, even the boys in the back. Nana glanced at the coin in CJ's palm. Do you remember the coin that Mr. Dennis pulled from behind his ear? CJ dropped it in the man's hat. Last stop on Market Street, Mr. Dennis called. CJ looked around as he stepped off the bus. Crumbling scot sidewalks and broken down doors, graffiti tagged windows and boarded up stores. He reached for his Nana's hand. How come it's always so dirty over here? She smiled and pointed to the sky. Sometimes, when you're surrounded by dirt, CJ, you're a better witness for what's beautiful. Can you see what's in the sky? Looks like a rainbow to me. CJ, CJ saw the perfect rainbow arcing over their soup kitchen. He wondered how his Nana always found beautiful where he never even thought to look. He looked all around them again, at the bus rounding the corner out of sight, and the broken street lamps still lit up bright and the stray cat shadows moving across the wall. When he spotted their familiar faces in the window, he said, I'm glad we came. There they are going into the soup kitchen. He thought his Nana might laugh, her deep laugh. But she didn't. She patted him on the head and told him, Me too, CJ. Now come on. And there they are in the soup kitchen. Look at all the different types of people. And there are CJ and his Nana waiting at the bus stop. CJ's reading a book. Maybe a library book. Wasn't that a good story, you guys? Fantastic. Well, that about concludes our stories for today. But I put together, Garrett and I, put together a list of over 50 books in our library for children, tweens, and teens. Um, 
on the subject of race and social justice. And now, because the curbside services are open here at the library, you can put those books on hold and check them out here at the Eastbury branch, the York branch. Um, you can put them on hold either on your account if you have an online account, or you can call the library and we'll put them on hold for you. Um, curbside pickup here at the Aldrich Library in the Eastbury branch is Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 10 to 2. Just wait for us to give you a call and let you know that your books are ready to pick up. So I hope that you'll check out that list. Um, I've put a link to that list of 50 or, some odd, or so some odd books. Um, a link down here in the description of our video. So go ahead and click on that link and you can check out some of the books that we have there on that subject. Um, other news, we have um, our lunch program that's going to be starting up next week, Monday, June 15th at the main branch. That'll be uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. That's open to any kids 18 and under, any kids up to the age of 18. Free lunch, free breakfast for two days. So that's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 to 1. And that'll be on the main granite steps right in the front of the building. So I hope you'll come and check us out. And um, we'll also have the summer program beginning very soon after that, the following week. Uh, we'll have the schedule all set by next week. But we have some really fun programs coming up. Um, a lot of them are going to be virtual. Some of them will be passive. But there'll be really fun things that you can do with um, your neighbors and with friends. We're going to keep you reading all summer. And make sure that you have fun things to do. And make sure that you're thinking all summer. Well, I hope that you enjoyed these stories today, that you found them thought-provoking and fun and cool, and I'll see you here next Tuesday, same time, same place. Bye for now.